tell me you have a dog without telling me you have a dog. <laughs> it is the most sad, gloomy day. Oh my god. Like, look how dark and cloudy, and it's just so cold. Everything is starting to die. Huh. But hi, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part two of my moving vlog series. If you're new here, hi, my name's Sam. Um, I currently live in northeastern Pennsylvania, and in two weeks, I am moving down south to Wilmington, North Carolina, and I am very, very excited. This is just gonna be like my last couple of weeks, just getting everything done that I need to get done before the move, packing finally. I tried to get in appointments for everything that I need done beforehand, um, so that way I can just like not have to worry about it for a while because, you know, moving down there to a new area, I'm gonna have to find like, new everything even like a new nail person so i figure if i do it all now then it'll give me time to like scope it out find new people today actually i am going for an oil change because my car really needs it and i am driving down so it's going to be a pretty long drive it's like nine hours without traffic so i definitely want to make sure that i get you know an oil change and my car is good to go first though today i am going to go work out which Ooh, didn't even check the time. I'm running late, so I gotta go. <sighs> Just finished my workout. Oh my god. Um, I feel so sweaty and disgusting. But honestly, that was so good and much needed because... I just like zoned out at all of the like stress and just things that have been on my mind. I got to just kind of like sweat it all out of my system. So I am going to... I'll get like a coffee and something to eat and then i'm gonna head to um my car appointment very exciting though actually this is my last week um i work out with one of my friends who is a personal trainer um we do like one-on-one -on -one workouts together that are custom put together for me and my goals and everything. I've been working out with her now since like the middle of September. And because this was my last week with her, she weighed me and she has a machine that does like a full body scan and tells you like your body fat percentage and your muscle mass and all that. And we had did this on day one and then we did another one today to kind of compare. And I lost one percentage of body fat and I gained two pounds of muscle. Very excited about that. And I've just been feeling so much better too. And like, honestly, that's all I really care about. I don't, it's like the way I look is whatever. Um, I just wanted to like get back in shape and just feel good again, you know? My energy has been better. I've been sleeping better. My mood has been better and I just feel good. I don't feel bloated all the time anymore. And I can feel that like my body is just you know, becoming stronger and it's exciting. So just want to share that. Don't get caught up with the number on the scale. Like who cares what the number is and what you weigh or what size you are. Just go based off of how you feel. It's a few hours later. I have all of my empty boxes here uh, that I've been accumulating. And I started packing up a couple of things. This is just stuff that was inside of my nightstand. And then in this box here, I just have all of my books, clothes, and like stuff that I have in the bathroom, like, you know, my shampoo and skincare and stuff like that. And also probably most of my kitchen stuff. I'm going to just wait till like a couple days before. But I figure the things that I don't need on a regular basis, I may as well just kind of start packing a little here and there. I also started another box here with my sunglasses. I store all my sunglasses in this acrylic drawer. Thing. So I literally just picked up the whole thing and just put it in this box. It fit perfectly and I have all of my little um, sunglass cases and stuff in there and I think I'm going to put my jewelry in this box too. A while back I had picked up these jewelry organizers from Hobby Lobby. My necklaces and bracelets and stuff I usually just kind of like lay them out flat like that and my earrings I just kind of like toss in this tray so I thought getting something like this would be a better way to store and organize my jewelry in the future and also it'll make it easier to pack everything up so I don't have to worry about anything getting like tangled up. So I'm going to pack everything in these then that way once I get to the new place I don't even have to worry about like putting my jewelry away it'll already be 
organized and put away in these and then I can just put these on my dresser or you know in the closet or whatever save me some time and make the unpacking process a little easier so here is the jewelry I actually was able to just fit everything in the one container there we go and it just snaps closed so now this will be nice and secure let's see if this fits in this box yes perfect fit I'm wondering actually maybe able to fit my perfumes in here if I just move this stuff up that all fit perfectly so perfumes sunglasses jewelry in this box now I can close this up and it is good to go. I was just looking at the weekly weather for where I live and it's supposed to snow possibly on Sunday. Oh my god, so gross. And then I was comparing it to Wilmington and that same day is going to be sunny and 63 down there. <laughs> oh, like all in the 60s and high 50s. Good morning. It's Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. I'm about to head to work. I have one client at the salon today and she's a regular of mine. We usually just do the same kind of thing. So I already know her hair, know what to expect. It should be a pretty easy, relatively quick day. It's so damn cold that my hair is like taking forever to dry. Last night I was looking over like my schedule and all of the things that I have to do still. I have quite a few appointments booked over the next like week and a half and plans that I've made with friends. I have an eye doctor appointment, a Botox appointment, a lash appointment, pedicure, hair appointment, wax appointment, I think that's everything. Even though it seems like there's still a lot of time, in reality, when I factor in all of the things that I have going on and how busy I am, I don't actually have like that much time to just be home and pack. So I'm glad that I'm kind of starting a little bit earlier and not just leaving it till the last minute. So today when I get home from work, I definitely want to do some more packing. So yeah, that is the update. That's what's been on my mind. It's so funny, my Virgo moon, really really comes out strong whenever I'm moving anyway I'm gonna head to the salon now I will see you guys later I'm home and I'm about to make a HelloFresh meal. I've really been trying to not buy too many things at the grocery store because, you know, I don't want to have a bunch of food that is going to end up being left over or go to waste. And I also don't want to have to like get takeout because I'm trying to not spend more money than necessary. So HelloFresh has been very helpful. They are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. So thank you so much to them. When you sign up for HelloFresh, you can select how many meals you want to receive per week and the serving sizes. They have 50 different options to choose from each week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options. Trust me, as someone who has ordered HelloFresh dozens of times now, I can honestly say I have yet to try anything from them that wasn't delicious. Each meal comes with a recipe card that tells you how long it will take to prepare, along with step-by-step -step instructions broken down on the back. Each meal also comes packaged with pre-portioned ingredients, which is the best part for me because not only does it save me time from having to meal prep, grocery shop, and clean up, but it cuts back on food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. There's nothing that I hate more than when a recipe calls for an ingredient that I don't use often and I only need a tablespoon of it for the recipe. It usually ends up going bad before I can use it all and it's so wasteful. HelloFresh is also really flexible so you can always change your delivery days or meal preferences or skip a week whenever you want to. So if you'd like to try out HelloFresh for yourself, Use my code SAMV14 to get up to 14 free meals plus three free gifts. Click the link in the description for more details. 
I highly suggest taking advantage of that code and giving it a try. As somebody who really is not a big fan of cooking, I usually end up getting in a rut with the recipes that I make. So having HelloFresh has been great because it's kind of gotten me outside of my comfort zone and allowed me to try different recipes and even basic things like what I made tonight, this ravioli. Like Ravioli is so simple. I've made it tons of different times, but I've never had bacon ravioli and making it with this sauce and adding the peas is just something a little bit different that I normally wouldn't have thought to try. So don't forget to click the link in my description and use my code to get up to 14 free meals plus three free gifts. And thank you so much HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the vlog and for making you know, these few weeks and this whole moving process a little bit easier for me. Okay, so this is the room that I kind of want to tackle tonight. I don't know if I'm going to get everything in here packed up, but I want to at least start because this is probably the most overwhelming part to me. So this room is just kind of like a storage closet and I just have these boxes of things that I kind of shoved in here when I first moved in that I literally have not gone through since. So I want to sort through what's in here and pack up the things that I need and that I want to bring and then anything that I don't, I will just either get rid of or um, I'll keep it at my parents' house, I guess. So yeah, let's do this. I have so many clips in this exact same position but hi hello <laughs> it's Friday um, yesterday was Thanksgiving and it was really nice to just have the day off and just have like a low-key day and it was good because I haven't seen my brother in person in a while I don't even remember when and I know I mentioned in the last vlog maybe in this one I did too but he's gonna be driving down with his girlfriend in his car and then my parents are gonna be coming down in their car and then I'm gonna you know obviously be in my car so all of us are going down and they're helping me with the move so we've just been like coordinating and discussing a lot of this stuff through text recently so it was nice to all be together in person face to face and like really make sure that like we have a game plan we're all on the same page but yeah i am about to head to work now though and i'm gonna be completely honest going to the salon is the last thing that i want to do right now if it was like just a normal year and i wasn't leaving in a week i probably would have taken today off but i figured i may as well work as much as i can up until the last possible moment. It's nothing against my clients and all of the girls that I have on my schedule today are lovely, but it's just like one of those days where I just feel drained and like my social battery is running very low. So I just don't feel like being out and around people today. And that's one of the things that kind of sucks about being in the beauty industry and being a hairstylist is like, I can't just go to work and sit behind a desk and have a bad day or not feel outgoing and social and it be fine, you know? Like, m a huge part of my job is being around people and talking to people. So I'll show you a little bit, some clips here and there of what I do today. Um, everybody is getting color. I doubt I'm gonna end up doing any packing tonight because by the time I get home, I'm probably just going to be tired and want to lay around and just watch The Crown, so.
good morning happy saturday oh it's 35 degrees lovely yesterday it kept hailing and snowing on and off and even right now there's like a few snowflakes it's like not full-on snowing but there's just random little flurries just kind of like every so often i'm about to head to work i have one client today she's one of my regulars and then i might be meeting up with some friends after work because this is my second to last weekend in this area so i'm really trying to like see everybody and make the most of my time but the days are just flying by i gotta go now so I will see you later and I'll show you a little bit of what I end up doing today. More snow. Hey guys, it is Tuesday morning. I'm about to head out to a Botox appointment. I go and I get Botox like two times a year, but I just get like lines on my forehead and it's like so minimal, but they do bother me and they were starting to kind of like settle in a little bit and anytime, especially that I would wear makeup, it would just like emphasize the creases. So I've been going for the last like two or three years now. It doesn't change the look of my face at all, but it just helps to relax the muscles right up here so that I don't create those creases and then that way they won't settle into wrinkles so it's just more of like a preventative thing for me i have only ever gone to one person for any kind of like injectable thing i've ever gotten i do occasionally get my lips done at this point now i really only do it like maybe once a year not even last time i went she was like you're gonna be good for two years probably those are the only two things that i've ever gotten done it's just my lips and the little bit of botox i know every so often i'll get comments that are like you get too much filler in your face you're overdoing it and i'm like no honey, I just gained weight. <laughs> like I've never gotten any kind of filler anywhere else in my face. But yeah, I've only ever gone to one person for that kind of stuff and I'm scared to go to somebody different. So that's why I was like, let me make sure that I do that before I move. I'll probably come back up here to visit my family like once or twice a year. So I figure I can schedule my Botox appointments during those times. <laughs> So that way I can just keep going to the same person because I love her and she's really great I'll put her information in the description if you live in PA. She's in Allentown But I did want to talk about something because last night I posted the first part of the moving vlogs and I just keep seeing like on all of my recent vlogs. I keep getting like the same reoccurring question and I don't know it's hard but basically the questions that I keep getting have to do with my relationship um, a lot of people have been asking is it weird living with your ex um, is it awkward are you sad about it I haven't shared really anything about my relationship online I like to keep that aspect of my life private and to myself because the more you share online the more you open yourself up to judgment criticism speculation etc that's another reason why i don't even really share my family very much because i get enough hate comments about myself and you know if people want to talk shit about me i can let that roll off my shoulder but when people make negative comments about people in my life that are important to me that really like i get really defensive and that really pisses me off so that's why i try to just avoid that altogether by not really sharing much and this whole situation i know that like i've been acting totally fine about everything and i'm like really excited but this is still like a difficult situation and yes i do get sad about it and that's also why I don't want to talk about it and I don't want people asking me about it or making comments about it because it's like hard enough to deal with stuff behind the scenes having to deal with it online and hear strangers input about it is just like unnecessary heartache we 
we're together for almost four years and I actually met him through my family. He's very close to my family. He knew my family before he ever even met me. So he is someone that I'm very close with, I'm very comfortable around, and he's very important to me. I don't really know how to like explain without oversharing, and I don't wanna overshare. I like him so much as a person, we get along so well, but just because you like somebody as a person and you get along with them and you can have fun with them doesn't necessarily mean that they're the right person for you as a life partner and as like a long-term partner and that's just kind of where we are at and i think we both just kind of like came to the agreement that we aren't really making each other happy right now and it could just be that we're both like in totally different parts of our life right now in some ways like we don't want to break up but then at the same time it's like we kind of know that this is what's best for both of us and we both have talked through this for a very long time and we've tried and we just like this just is kind of like where we're at and what kind of needs to happen. It isn't awkward and it's not weird to still be living together because we are such good friends and we kind of have just been living like roommates for a long time, like before I even decided I was gonna leave. So it's kind of like nothing's really changed to be honest. And there's definitely times where like we drive each other crazy and you know, there's moments that I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to get out of here. And I'm sure he feels the same way about me. Like he's probably like, I can't wait for this bitch to leave. Um, but for the most part, we are just, we get along really well. I don't know, maybe for some people that's gonna seem like so foreign and so crazy. And unbelievable but truly it is not weird there is nothing awkward about it it is definitely sad at times and I you know I'm like all over the place and it's hard for sure but you know I logically know that this is the right thing for right now and I'm also just excited for the changes to come so it's like a bittersweet kind of thing, I guess. I hope that kind of answers the questions. I know I don't have to say anything about this, but at the same time, I understand people's curiosity. I'm flattered that people are even interested in watching my videos and are interested in my life, but you know, I just hope that you can respect my boundaries and my privacy. Thank you guys for your support and your understanding. I'm going to head to my appointment now though. I really need to go. The snow is really starting to pick up and it's starting to stick a little bit. afternoon it is Wednesday I had to think about that for a second I was supposed to have a client at work today but she ended up canceling which worked out perfectly because it just gave me an extra day to pack and get things done so I spent the whole morning just kind of going around the house and picking things up packing up a few things here and there i want to show you the progress that i made so this is what the bedroom is looking like right now i have some things that are packed up this is empty i think i'm gonna put all of my bathroom toiletries and makeup skincare products that kind of stuff in there but we have some packed boxes over here empty boxes up here the bathroom is still very very messy but that I'm going to save till the weekend. But packing up all of that stuff should be pretty easy and I'm hoping everything will fit in that suitcase. I accumulated a little pile over here that's gonna go to my parents' house. One of these is literally just filled with hair. 
hair extensions, wigs, and then I have winter stuff, scarves, hats. I did grab a couple of things that I'm gonna bring with me, um, cause I know it's still gonna get kind of cold, but I, I'm not gonna need to bundle up as much as I do up here. And then down there is extra bags and purses and stuff. I'm gonna actually have my mom go through that and see if there's anything that she wants and anything that she doesn't, I might just donate. So downstairs here, this was like my little office corner. So I packed up everything that I had in my desk drawers. I have to put my desktop computer in its box still, but that'll take like two seconds. Um, more empty boxes and stuff over here. I packed up this box the other night. This is just like some decor stuff. This is gonna go to my mom's house and then I have some stuff in this corner that I'm gonna be bringing with me. That's all like the office stuff I had packed up. And then this is the room that I showed you guys earlier in the vlog. I went through and pulled out all of my stuff from all of this. This needs to now just be like organized and straightened up a little bit better. And then the kitchen I'm also going to wait to do this weekend. I know it still looks like a total mess in here but trust me when i tell you it is so much better than it was everything that's still left now should be pretty easy and i should be able to just pack it up just in one day and i'm sorry that i didn't vlog any of that stuff that i was doing but i was literally just it was very sporadic and i was kind of just doing a little bit here and there that's the update i'm leaving in a couple of hours to go get my lashes done. I'm getting a lash lift and tint. It makes my lashes look so good. And as if I curled them, I put mascara on them. And I think that's the only plan for today. Oh, also, happy December 1st. I cannot even believe it that it's December already. A bunch of people have been posting their first Vlogmas videos for the season, and I'm so excited. I'm not gonna be doing Vlogmas this year. I did it last year, so if you weren't here last year and you missed that and you wanna watch it, I had posted a new vlog every single day leading up to Christmas, so you can go back and watch those videos if you'd like. It was fun, but it was so stressful and because I'm moving right now like there is just absolutely no way that I could do that this year but I am planning on just posting more frequently so you're not going to be getting a video every day from me but you will probably be getting like two to three a week I would say. I will show you what my lashes look like later tonight when I get back and I think I'm going to tint my eyebrows tonight as well. May as well just do the full thing and then this Friday I'm getting my hair done and I'm so excited. So yeah I will see you later tonight. I'm home now. Here's how my lashes look. So I have a little bit of glue on my skin here, so don't mind that, but it looks like I have mascara on, but I don't have on anything. And it's crazy how long my lashes are. I've been using the Grande Lash Lash Serum for a couple of months now. I wanna say I started using this like end of summer. I'll put a link in the description, not sponsored or anything. Using this in addition to getting the lift and tints is amazing. I used to get lash extensions for years and I stopped recently cause it was just like too much maintenance and I wanted to just kind of save myself the time and the money from constantly having to go to get fills and I wanted to just like embrace my natural lashes but now I want to do my brows and I realized that I have a coffee stain on my shirt don't mind that so let's get this hair out of the way I'm gonna first tweeze my brows they need it desperately and then I use the Ellie Bana brow henna in the shade natural brown I am planning on doing a in-depth tutorial and like a separate video on this the next time I do it, once I'm in my new place, and I'll really explain in depth how I do this, but I mean, it's pretty simple. It's basically just a powder and you just mix it with a little bit of water, paint it on your eyebrows, leave it on for about 30 minutes wipe it off and it tints your brow hairs but it also stains your skin so you'll see after i'm done it just makes your brows look like they're filled in and then on the days when i'm wearing makeup it saves me time because i don't have to bother filling them in i'll just like brush a little brow gel through them and call it a day so i'm just gonna speed through this but again i will have a separate tutorial on this in the near future 
So stay tuned. I will link this in the description though. Hello, it's the next day. I just got home from work and I'm about to pack up some stuff in the bathroom. So here's <laughs> what it looks like right now. Um, it just looks really chaotic because I have a bunch of plants in here because this is like the warmest and most humid room in the house. So they've been in here for like the last month or so, ever since it got cold. And they've been thriving in here, especially this plant. Look how many like new leaves it's sprouting out this one's growing a new one too i'm gonna try to pack everything in this suitcase I'm hoping it will all fit so wish me luck and enjoy this time lapse I emptied out all of the drawers over here. And I have this entire tote bag here filled with stuff that I'm gonna get rid of. Most of it is actually just old makeup that is not good anymore. And then here is all of the stuff in my suitcase. It's crazy to me how much makeup I still had and that is just a small fraction of what I once used to have. Back in the day when I did makeup videos on my channel more often i was like constantly buying new makeup and i was getting a lot of makeup sent to me for pr and i was also doing makeup on clients for a little while so i had a lot of stuff accumulated and i had so many products that i never used or i maybe used like once or twice but i just never got rid of them because i wanted to keep it because i was like oh this is like really cool this is really nice or it's like a nice brand so i didn't want to get rid of it but in reality, it's like, if you're not using something, you need to either like give it away to somebody or just get rid of it, especially if it's old. And that was the problem. A lot of the stuff that I had laying around is just many years old and it was just time to go. I'm even getting rid of a lot of makeup brushes because I have so many. I literally had three jars full of makeup brushes. I don't need that many, like that's just ridiculous. And again, it's just been an accumulation over the years. Some of these brushes in here are like the first makeup brushes, like these right here, these purple BH Cosmetics brushes. I remember I got them in like a big giant set and these were the first makeup brushes I ever bought in like 2011 or 2012. What I'm planning on doing is I'm going to just pack like an overnight bag because we're going down Tuesday night and staying at an Airbnb and then I don't get the keys to my apartment until Wednesday. So I'm just gonna leave out my everyday stuff, like my skincare, my toothbrush, obviously. And then that stuff I will just pack in the overnight bag the night before I leave. So everything else that I know I won't need in the next few days just packed it all up. 
Oh my god, this is so heavy. Will it close? That is the question. Success. Good morning. It's 7.30 right now. I can't even remember the last time that I was up and dressed and about to go out this early, but today's the big day. Just kidding. I'm not moving today. I'm getting my hair done today. I'm going to someone that I know from beauty school. She's amazing. Um, she's done my hair once before. We have about an hour drive, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Starting route to Meraki Beauty. 58 minute drive. Let's do it. You guys, I love it. It's not like super different from how it was before. I'm trying to get some good lighting. Oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, no. Hmm? Anyway, came home, immediately changed into my robe. <laughs> I still have a client later tonight and my mom is coming to get her hair done too, but I had like almost three hours until then, so I decided to just come home and just chill for a bit. But I really love my hair, I'm so excited. I just wanted it like, still rooted and just very blended and dimensional and i did want like a bolder piece in the front but i wanted it again to be like really soft and blended i didn't want it to like be too bold and come all the way up because then it just doesn't grow out as nice so i just wanted it to be like as low maintenance as possible still brunette so i went to kate at meraki beauty in downtown allentown she's so amazing i know her from school i'm so happy Good morning. It's the next day. I'm in the process of getting ready. I'm basically ready. I just have to get dressed still. And I'm waiting to the last possible minute to do that because I'm just cold and... Uh, hi. This is his thing. He likes to burrow under the blankets. That's how he sleeps every night. Today is my last day at the salon. It's so bittersweet, like I've been waiting for this moment for months. Not that I was like looking forward to leaving the salon, but you know, I'm looking forward to just the changes and the move and everything. And it's just crazy that it's here already and this is already my last day. I just have one client today, so it should be a nice, easy, pretty short day. I don't know, it's just gonna be so weird like saying goodbye to my boss and my coworkers. She's just the best boss ever and it is the best salon to work at. Oh my God, what the fuck? It didn't really hit me till just now. So now it's making me emotional. It's been a great, great experience and it really like changed my life in so many ways and I'm just so grateful. I'm gonna go in for my last day, do my last client, say goodbye to everybody. And oh, I need to remember to bring a box with me too because I need to pack up all of my stuff that I have there. Oof. So anyway, I'm gonna chug this espresso, get dressed and head out of here. Sunday. It's officially two days till moving day. I feel like I just keep saying this, but the time has gone by so fast and I knew that it would, but it, it's still like, 
wow, <laughs> here we are. This morning I was packing up my kitchen stuff, and at this point the only things left are my clothes. Um, well, some of my clothes. I have a couple things already just like thrown in garbage bags and like some cleaning stuff. But yeah, everything else is pretty much ready to go for the most part. Today, I am going to my mom's house. I'm gonna have our usual Sunday routine. I have been going over there every Sunday for the last couple of years. Um, ever since I moved out, I go over there, I do my laundry, I have dinner, I just hang out and spend the day there with my family. This is gonna be my last Sunday going to my mom's house to do laundry. It's all just, it's so weird. I'm going to end this vlog here, so that way I can edit it later tonight when I get home and get it up for you guys as soon as possible. Tomorrow I will start the next vlog. So the next one is going to be moving day and empty apartment tour and all that good stuff. It's gonna be a really good one. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.